Thanks for staying with us. I'm Amy Satowski. I'm Derek Francis, a missionary group out of Cedar Springs reflecting on a trip to Honduras exactly one year after that trip left them stranded. It happened as the pandemic was starting to get out of control. Two of the church's outreach leaders say that the experience really changed them for the better and is now pushing them to do more for their own community. I can't believe looking back that it's actually been a year, yes. A year of growth and community for Jonathan and Kelly Bergsma with City Impact Church Outreach in Cedar Springs. We're people of faith and we went there on a mission. The Bergsmas setting out to Honduras with more than a dozen volunteers one year ago, back when the U.S. had just 19 cases of COVID-19. We just went doing what we uh, were called to do and they, they, they had given some warning that we were possibly travel could get restricted, but nothing had been for surely shut down. There was just all hearsay. And yeah, I ended up getting stranded there. Stuck in a foreign country for two weeks. So you could tell things were getting more and more serious mm -hmm. as, as the days went on at the hotel. We were pretty much confined to our rooms. But before that, the team was able to stay on course. We were still able to go out and visit. And, you know, there was one day we went to the, the dump in Honduras and just seeing the kids and just being able to bring smiles or ice cream or whatever we had. Everything that we went to do was, they were saying, was not going to be available to us. But as we went, they opened up and we did everything we set out to do. When the Bergsmas finally arrived home, they carried that goodwill right back into their own community. We did a lot of grocery deliveries, probably about 150 families a week. That system evolving into the grocery garage in August, letting people shop for themselves. We get drop offs here every day of food and uh, essential items and it is one of my most favorite things is the grocery garage. Just welcoming people in. We have a line that starts at 8 a.m. People come outside, it's freezing out, they wait in line. And as we start to make our way to the other side of the pandemic, the Bergsmas are promising more creative community support in the months to come. Grateful for the lessons worlds away and here at home. Cedar Springs is an amazing community that pulls together whenever there's a need. The Bergsmas say that they are already working on a plan to send nearly 20 volunteers back to Honduras to help build houses in the wake of hurricanes and extreme flooding. They're hoping to go at the end of April.